Hello, my crafty friends. My name is Denise Becker, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from sunny Florida. Uh, and we're having our afternoon mini hurricane thunderstorms now. It's our rainy season, so sunny but rainy at the same time. Um, first of all, y'all, I just want to apologize for not being on for so long. Um, I've been sick for the past three months. Um, I don't know what the heck. I am so sick and tired of this. I am getting better. Um, I'm on my second dose of prednisone. I have more about maybe 10 more days of it. Um, I've had three doses of antibiotics. Uh, my rheumatologist uh, took me off of um, my biologics because um, it, although it helps my lupus when it gets out of control, it lowers the immune system. So I just have not been able to heal. And uh, I'm doing better. I am doing better. I'm still coughing a little bit. I still have some congestion, but I am doing a little better. So thank goodness. Uh, I haven't been out of the house very much. I haven't done much of anything. Just totally resting because I've been so tired and this just wore me out. This just did me in and wore me out. But um, I wanted to show you all, first of all, from Sweets Indian. And honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just now getting around to um, showing this. Um, I haven't, I haven't, I've crafted a little tiny bit, but not very much. I just, ha I haven't felt good at all. This one just totally did me in. But look at her sweet card and her paper. This gorgeous colors and her layout. How beautiful. Get well soon. Yeah, this was a doozy, Cindy, let me tell you. Look, I look at her like how she's got her little, she's got these little tiny, cute little blings. She always puts on her flowers. So cute. And she wrote me the sweetest, sweetest message. Oh, I know, honey. I know. It's been it's been a while. I don't even know how long it's been. I, I've tried. Believe me. I've come in here and tried, but I turn around and just walk right out. But I love your card, and I love you thinking about me, honey. Thank you so much. Look how cute that is. Look at her beautiful papers. Love these colors. Love these colors. I don't know what kind of paper you use, but it sure is pretty. It's very pretty, and you know, your your colors are always spot on. And I do absolutely love this kind of background paper. So pretty. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you so much. And for all your well wishes, I got a sweet message today from Donna Lipscomb. And oh, honey, thank you so much. That just means the world to me. I love y'all so much. And I've missed you so much. And I appreciate y'all so much. And I'm just very sorry. I have not been able to get on. I just have needed time to heal and uh finally i think i'm on my way <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a rough one let me tell you but um i want to make a have this is the first christmas thing i've done I haven't done any christmas in july i want to make a gift set i want a matching bag i'm making a box uh maybe put some candy in i'm gonna make um um a card uh, and I'm probably going to make a gift card holder to put inside this little bag. And uh, I'm using uh, this I got on the online exclusives, the horse and sleigh. And I'm uh, the only thing I'm using on the box is um, this little uh, die right here. And um, probably for the bag, I'm going to use the sleigh because look how big it is. How cute is that going to be hanging from the top? So it's just adorable. I got this on the online exclusives too. And I'm... Uh, Every day I'm checking on there because they do have new products on the online exclusives. And um, I'm, there's the truck, like the red truck punch and the die set. But man, it sells out. I, I have yet to get my greedy hands on it. So I keep checking, but it's still unavailable. But it will come back because it's so popular. So, <coughs> but this is a great, great, great. I'm so glad I got this because it's beautiful and I love it. I love the dies. It's got little snow banks in it, and the sleigh is so cute. And um, this this just is a little decorative piece for the sleigh. That's going to be so pretty, and I think I'm going to make the tag out of that. And, uh, yeah, I just love it. It's got a little cute little bunny rabbit in the snow, and I just love it. And I, and I love it because it says, wishing you a season of cheer and a happy new year. You don't see too many happy new years, so sending you sending warmth your way and joyful so i don't know what kind of or even if i'm going to put a sentiment on the box i don't know we'll see once i get everything done
But uh, yeah, go check out the online exclusives. And a lot of people have told me they're hard to find. Yes, they are. Um, I had trouble myself at first. You go to um, uh, menu. There's a menu up, and I believe it's on my computer. It's like in the top left-hand corner, and click on that, and it'll it'll uh, products merch. Uh, does it say products? All products. And you click on that, and it will take you right to the online exclusives, and there is new product in there. And I'm so sorry I didn't come on earlier and tell you that. Um, I believe it started July 6th, but I'm, I can't be positive. But I, um, if you buy, spend fifty dollars in July. Um, you'll get a $5 coupon that you can redeem in August. So, uh, yeah, I've saved mine up. So I'm, I'm when I get, get my, can get my hands on that, um, hopefully in August, it'll be back that truck punch in the stamp set. I want that so bad. So I'm going to use it, use mine for that. But, um, yeah, I want to make a gift set. So I'm making the box today. And, um, I, the only thing I've used out of this stamp set is this, this little, um, this right here this little tree right there um and i'll use this for the card and the uh, gift card holder and um, i'm going to use this definitely for the tag for the matching bag and i've already got that cut out but i i'll just do one at a time and uh, i got this box actually from this because <laughs> my poor nose has been so stuffed up i've gone i don't know how many times I mean, these i've gone through so i just took this apart and uh, came up with my own measurements now you can if you don't want a i made a prototype it didn't decorate this but if you want it to fold in like this you're going to add to the length of it you're going to add a half an inch because when I got it, it was just like that, you know. But I wanted mine to fold in, and then the bottom is closed up, of course. But you don't have to. I mean, this is just like a little treat holder. So if you don't want to do this, don't bother. Just, you know, use a glue dot or a little dot of glue or something and just glue it up. I mean, people don't normally keep little treat holders, you know. They, they just don't. So, you know, if you don't want to bother with that, don't do it. Just But if you want to, then you have to add... A half an inch to get that little tab to the um, height of the of the paper so it comes to um, seven and a half by eight and a quarter and I don't know why for some reason I did not use my thick whisper uh, thick um, basic white for this one like an idiot I should have but this one I did so yeah I just changed the measurements just a little bit so it didn't have to be sixteenth of an inch because I don't want anybody to have to do that they don't have to um, Oh, and I did I show you all the paper that comes with the stamp set. It's so pretty. Look at these beautiful. I'm going to use this for the card, I think, because it kind of goes with this. And, uh, oh, they're just beautiful. Look at these beautiful scenery. Oh, and then on the back, it's just, uh, you know, like with Stampin' Up! always has like a printed side, and then the back is more neutral for cards, and it's just beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I saw a... Um, uh, um, a step card, center step card I'm going to make out of this. I love it. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And um, and then I got these um, cute uh, snowflakes also on the online exclusives. Um, white, um, gold, and copper, which are beautiful. And I did actually um, put, put a few on uh, the front of mine. And I'll show y'all exactly when you take this apart, exactly how to do it, yeah, exactly how to how to put it together, and also uh, on mine. Now you do not have to do this. I did cut an aperture out and put some uh, acetate behind there. You don't have to. I just wanted to. I don't know. I, I just wanted to make a little fancier little box, but you do certainly don't have to. I mean, there. You know, it, it's up to you how much work you want to put into it. Um, and then I used um my uh, nested essential dies from the new catalog now you everybody needs nested essential, essential dies i mean nest, nested dies of any kind because you need to be able to um layer things up and get a border or you know whatever there's many 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 uses for uh, nested dies so i like all different kinds i have stars circles rectangles uh, all different kinds and these really come in handy so i used um the smallest one of this uh, rounded rectangle to cut the aperture out and then I use the next size to make the uh, little frame 
to go go over there and you see it's got the little dots not little stitches but it's got little dots it's really cute so this this came out of the new catalog um but you like i said you do not have to i mean i just i wanted to i was just experimenting a little bit but you certainly do not have to do that so in order to make this when i took it apart i knew i was going to have to cut this cut this off because this is going to fold up like this that goes in that's going to be the back this I needed to cut off so I could um, open it up. And I, I'm going to put the little finger hole in there uh, like I did in this one. Just a little little uh, one-inch circle punch. I just put a little finger hole in there. And then um, I know I'm going to cut that off, so I put an X on there. And this is my front, going to be the front. So this will be the last tab that I fold down. Don't cut it off. It's just the last one. And if you're going to make it like I did, don't... On this tab, the front and the back, don't um, edge it. Don't don't cut a, uh, an angle. Just leave it square. It just it just these you can wedge, but not the the front and the back. Leave them uh, nice and straight. Just close this nicer. Um, yeah, so that's it. So just you know, if you see a box you want to make, take it apart and go to town. Work on, it. just play with it. That's all I did. I just played with it and decided I wanted to. Um, a closure, so I added a half an inch to the length. So we're going to start on the um, shorter side, the seven and a half inch side. Hope I wrote everything down. I'm not really with it. Let's see. So we're going to score at one and a quarter. That's the side, one side. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I jumped the track. Ah, I need my wax paper. I still have not done that. Here it is. I'm just going to rub it on here. It really does work. Yeah, it must leave some kind of a, a waxy surface, and it, you're, you, you tend not to jump the track so much when you do that. I always keep a piece of wax paper up here. Okay, so one and a quarter, um, three and a half. See? Much better. Much better. I can feel it. Four and three quarters. That's our other side. And then um, four and three quarters and then seven. Okay. And that's going to be our little glue tab over here. And then we're going to turn it to the eight and a quarter inch side. We're going to score at one and a quarter. Six and a, six and a quarter. Seven and a half. And then seven and three quarters. Yeah. Is that right? No, no, that's right. I left, no, no, I'm sorry, no. Seven and a half, is it set? You know what, let me measure that. I'm not sure if I messed up there. Hold on. Yeah, that's one and a quarter. The side has to be one and a quarter. It actually is a little bit. No, that's right, that's right, I'm sorry. So we're going to score on the uh, long side, one and a quarter, six and a quarter, seven and a half. And then that's going to be our little, um, this little tap right here that folds in. Okay? That's all I had to add to that. All right. It's very simple. Very simple. And once you start making bags and boxes, you'll, you, you'll catch on right away and um, be making your own boxes for whatever size you need. That's very easy, too. I have, do have trouble sometimes with the lids getting them uh, perfectly to fit, but um, so sometimes I have to make two lids, so what? <laughs> All right, so, but I do love making anything 3D, and I wanted a complete, like, gift set. I'm so far behind on anything, and I wanted to do a little Christmas in July. So, let me just burnish these really good. You'll see how easy this is. And, you know, you don't don't feel like you have to put an aperture in it. You do not have to. Just put a piece of designer series paper on it if you want. You don't have to do. I was just experimenting and playing around. 
but you certainly don't have to. You don't have to go through all that. And not everybody's going to have this, uh, these nesting dies that I have. Use what you have. If you want um, a circle, an oval, a square, a rectangle, do that. I'll show you all exactly how to cut it out if you, if you want to do that. Very easy. Okay, now let me see. I want this back over here so I can see how I did it. Okay, can you all see that in the frame? Okay, now we got to do some cutting. So, I need this over here. I want this little half-inch tab on my right side, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this little... Um, now, keep this straight. Keep this straight. Just remove the score line, but keep it nice and straight. And then we're going to make a little wedge right there, okay? And up here, these we're going to move this rectangle and this little rectangle. And I'm also, I need a little wedge right there. So, and then I'm gonna remove the score line. Okay, I'm sorry. See, I always do that. I put it right in front of me so I can see what I'm doing and forget it's not in frame so y'all can see. Okay, so we've got our little tab. Now on the base down here, we're gonna remove this score line Keep it night. Keep this nice and straight. Now the tab we're going to wedge in. We're going to remove this score line right up to the first score line. Now I'm going to wedge the little tab, the side tab. Whoop! I'll have to cut that off. Darn it! It didn't go quite deep enough. Let's see. I can get that off. There we go. Well. That yeah, won't matter. Okay, so let's wedge this. I'm just glad I'm on. I have missed y'all so much. Okay, now let me do come over here. I'm going to remove the score line because this will be the front of our box. And I'm going to wedge this tab. Okay. Just so it folds up nice. Let me turn it over. It's easier for me to do it this way. Okay, I don't know why I'm not using my little ones, my little sharp ones. Okay, now, let's go come up here to the top. I'm going to turn it around. Um, so here's my tab over here. Now, this is actually going to be the back, but this is going to fold over, okay? So here's our, our tab, that, our glue tab that we're going to glue it together, but this is actually the back, but we need this. We're going to cut down to the second score line, and I'm going to remove the score line. Okay, and we're going to cut, here's our side, we're going to cut this down, and I'm going to remove this, actually, yeah, I'm going to remove the score line over here, but we're going to actually cut this completely off. And this next one, same thing, down to the second score line, okay? Now, on this one, let's look at our, look at, we'll look at what we've done here, okay? So this, I need to completely remove. This is the front. This is the front. But we need to completely remove this. This 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 rectangle and this rectangle. Completely remove it. And cut away the square line because that will be... You'll be able to see that. So we want that nice and neat and remove the score line. If I can do it neat, I'll tell you. Yeah, we'll see. I hope I can do this good. Alright, what else do we have to do? Okay, and we don't need these top rectangles. Let's take those off. We don't need them. Just more bulk we don't need. Okay. And just take off. Let me see something here now. I'm going to show you. See, this is how it's going to go. This is the back because this tab is over here. So we're going to make that the back, okay? Okay. This is the front, so I want this to be the last tab to fold down. And this goes in like this, this goes like that, and inside there, just like that. See how easy that is? There's nothing to it. Now what we need to do up here is just barely, 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 what I'm gonna do is just remove the score line. We do not, don't take off too much, because if you do, your little top won't stay closed. So just remove the score line. 
And that should do it. You might have to take off a little bit more, but probably not. Because otherwise, your box might not stay closed. So just take off just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I mean, like, you know, 16th of an inch, something like that. Um, and this, I just want to round the corner. I want to round these corners. Get my corner rounder, my good one. That's no longer available. Well, let me turn that down. And it just makes this easier to um, fold in when you round the corner. Am I in frame? Let me make sure. I just want to round this corner. Okay. Get that in there good. I don't know why they stopped selling this. It's a good one. Okay. And that's it. I do believe that's it. We might have to take off a little tiny bit of this, but we'll see. Don't, don't take it off yet. Just wait and see if you need to. Now, if you want to, if you want to cut an aperture out like that, like I did there, okay, what you would do, um, I'm going to bring in my big, let me get some of this out of the way, my big uh, cutting emboss. I love this machine, I tell you. I love the mini and the big. But let me just uh, get this some of this stuff out of the way. Ah. Okay. I still haven't changed my plates. <laughs> they need changing so bad. And I have extras. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Look at this. This part that we remove that, that's our front. That's the front. So, if you want to do this, if you, only if you want to, and you see this is not going to fit, so I'm going to show you what we do. And don't worry about it, you'll never, you'll never notice it, you'll never see it. So, if you want to do this, take out whichever, um, whichever nesting die you want, or punch, if you could fit, I doubt you could fit too many punches up there, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to use this little one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Good grief. I just about blew it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. First, I have to put the uh, designer series paper on there. Good grief. I'm sorry, y'all. I just about blew it. Let me remove this again. Oh, good grief. Sorry about that. So, we want to decorate it while it's flat. It's much easier. Much easier. Always decorate it when it's flat. I mean, you can. You can when it's... um. Put together but it's just let me see which is up that looks like it's going yep yeah, that looks like it's going up decorate it first before you put it together it's much easier much easier okay so we're gonna put that leave a little border see how easy this is it's so easy it really is easy will you once you get the hang of baking a couple of boxes it's so very easy okay just kind of have a you know matching border all the way around and let's see the side that looks like it's going in the right direction okay and we are going to use some acetate and i'm going to use my uh red tape i think instead of my tear and tape i think it's a i don't know if it is or not but i always think it's stronger. I don't know. It doesn't matter. If you have tear and tape, use tear and tape. Uh, glue and acetate don't work well together. So you're going to need um, either uh, a tape runner or um, um, double-sided tape. Now we're going to put this on. Which side? This way? Is that the right way up? Let me see. I can't tell with that. Um, this way. Okay. Yeah, we have to put this on first before we cut the aperture out. I just about blew it, but... Uh, corrected myself. Okay. Which I'm surprised. Okay. Let's just kind of get those nice and even and a little border around them. Okay. And the last... 
Oh, that's for my bag over there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna match this paper. But I thought it was so similar to um, this, um, you know, this this designer series paper. I thought that would work nice to, uh, together. And I don't have any more of this. I should have ordered two packs. I don't know why I didn't, or did I? You know, I'll have to check. Maybe I did. It's on the online exclusive. You got it. There's new product on there, so check it out. I want my greedy hands on that truck punch so bad. And that stamp set. Oh, I want that. I have one in a die set, but I, you know, I'd much rather have the punch. <laughs> I love punches. Okay, now, 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 let's bring this over. And let me get out my acetate. And, um... Let's see, I've already made the frame. I'll show y'all how I did that. Um, okay, let me get this back here. Uh, take off one of my top layers. Oh, that's upside down. I don't think it matters, to tell you the truth. All right, what we're gonna do is take our littlest one. And this is the front, and I'm gonna kinda center it. I kinda want it in the center. You know, I want my sides centered and the top and the bottom centered. I could measure it, but I'm going to eyeball it. And I always use, always use uh, washi tape or something to hold it down. Because it will, you know, it can slide so easily. So I'm just going to put that on there. And then we're just going to bring this. Uh-oh, that didn't stick. That's because it's, you know, it's got uh, like a metallic paper. Um, let me get that straight, and I might put another piece of, uh, yeah, that's moving around. I'm going to put another piece of uh, washi on there. Oh, no. It's going to tear on me. It did. Let me just take a little bit of the stick off. Okay, so it doesn't tear my paper. And let me get that nice and straight. There we go. Yeah, you put your designer series paper on first. Then cut your little aperture out, unless you don't want to, and you certainly don't have to. It's just something I wanted to do, because I do love 3D projects. And it will make a little indentation on it, but it makes it on the tab. You'll never see it, and you're going to, I hope, you know what, I hope I, uh-oh, <laughs> I just thought of something. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> I hope it doesn't show. Ah! What is this? Why is it? Oh, the glue was on there. Oh, my God. Ah! What the heck? Don't do that. Don't let... You know what? I should have let that glue dry. I should have let that glue dry. And then we're just going to gently, gently, gently peel that. Oh, I messed up. Now, I mean, I don't want to lose that. Let's see if we can't fix it. Ah, I didn't even think about that. The glue, you know, I just put this glue on there and it was still wet. So, oh Lord, don't do that. Don't learn by my mistake. Don't do that. Let it, let it dry. I have a tendency to do that. Um, not let it dry first. Yeah, oh shoot. Maybe, it, maybe when I put it under. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. You're not going to be able to see it, I hope. I hope. If I have to cover it with another piece of paper, I will. Yeah, yeah, don't do that because, yeah, see, I let it, I let, I did, didn't let it dry. And so it stuck. So that was my mistake right there. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, see, I, I, you know, I knew when I was putting this on, I knew you had to put this one on, but then this one, I knew it made a mark over here, so I should have waited to put this designer series paper on. So y'all learn from my mistakes. Wait and put, just put this one on that you're going to cut the aperture out and then put this on because, see, it did leave a little mark, but honestly, it's not going to, it's not going to show. try to flatten it out yeah let it dry don't do what I did 
and don't put these on there just put the one that you're going to cut the aperture out that's what i did with the other one and you know i noticed i said oh okay good so it does show when you do it that way so i don't know if i'm gonna oh, i guess i'll keep it i don't know if i'll use that or not uh and put this away before i lose it there we go yeah learn from my mistakes let it dry don't put your designer series paper except for the one you're going to cut the aperture out, okay? My mistake. I'm sorry about that because I did leave a little impression over here. All right, so now we're going to put this on here. Let me go ahead and put my, where's my acetate? Here it is. Okay, let me put some, I'm going to use my red tape and I'm just going to go around the very edge as close as I can. You can use tear and tape as it, like I said. Go ahead. I just happen to have this. I've had it for a long time and haven't used it. Been using my tear and tape, but I'm going to use this. I used to use this exclusively. And then I started using tear and tape. I guess that's why I don't, I still cut tear and tape because I'm so used to, you can't tear this. Okay. Yeah, because glue, I mean, you can use glue. You can't, uh oh, that a little too, that's all right. Um, But you run the risk of getting glue on your acetate, and then it's hard to get off. And it just doesn't dry really good. It takes a long time to dry. It's better to use a tape runner or double-sided tape. Okay, so I'm just going all around. I'm left room. Did I tell y'all how big this one was? No, I did not. Let me show you. It's going to depend on what size your um your your uh, dies are. So you know, mine is diff could be different than yours. So let me just take my bone folder and you really, when you put this down, really give it a good press because it's easier to come up and it um. Uh, glue sticks to the other side better. So give it a good, good, good press. And it works out better for you, I think. Just don't make the same mistakes I did. And see, I should have changed my plates because now the mark... I mean, this is the inside, so you can't tell. But even on the outside, I should have changed plates because... Uh, it, you know, it does leave, when, when your plates get as bad as mine, they do leave marks. But, it's okay. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy. Handy dandy. Love this thing. Tool. Let me take up this tape. I use this all the time. I still have a couple left, so if anybody places an order... Um, from me, I do have a couple left. I will be happy to send you one up if you place a $50 order before, um, shipping in taxes. I will send it to you and the brush and the foam mat. I have a couple left, so, and it's just very handy. I'll be happy to send it to you. I have other stuff, too. If you don't want this, I have other, I have some, um, punches. I have a couple of punches. Label punches. I have some stamp sets. If you don't want this. But it's a good one, let me tell you. Okay, now I'm just going to cover on, on the inside. I'm going to cover up this. Uh, I cut it big enough to completely um, hide the uh, tape and cover up the aperture. That's all you want to do. Make sure it fits in there and it covers up, you know, that this tape doesn't show through. You won't be able to tell on the inside of this box, okay? And now I'm gonna take my little frame and all I did with this to make the frame was I took my silver paper and um, I took the, the little one that I cut the aperture out with and then the next biggest size Oh, come on. Put them together, just like that, even, even, all the way around. I use washi tape. 
on silver paper and ran it through my mini. I did run it through my mini um, die cut. And then also with this stamp set, I ran through um, this die to cut that out in my mini cut and emboss. That's how you make a frame. Very easy. Very easy. And use whatever nesting um, dies you have. Okay? So yeah, I wish I hadn't have done that, but don't worry about it. And just remember, don't only put the um, designer series paper down on the front because I didn't let that dry and that, that kind of messed up the bottom a little bit. But... Y'all can still get the gist of it. It's uh, my bad for doing that. And I'm bad about that, too. I don't let it dry before I try to do something with it. And it's very important. And then if you, uh, you know, be careful so you don't get glue in here. You can take a tissue and uh, wipe it off if you happen to get some glue on there. I didn't, thank goodness. I don't think I don't see it, but I will wipe that off and I will wipe the acetate off. I hope I brought a tissue a napkin in here. Um, yeah, let me just wipe that off, clean that up. Okay, anytime you use acetate, because you always get like fingerprints and stuff like that see you'll never see that on the inside but if you don't want to be bothered with all that just put don't bother with it just put um put a piece of paper on it you don't have to do this okay now i did want some snow down here so now this is no longer available this um puffy snowfall accents puff paint it may come in the holiday catalog um, I'm going to use it because I like it. I just like it. And I'm going to use the Dazzling Diamonds, which is also no longer available because I like it. It looks like glittery, glittery snow. So, if it comes back, you just shake it. Let me go ahead and uh, put this on first. And I'm just going to cover up. See, I'm going to put it down at the bottom and, and not, not glue that down. Just leave that leave that free. I'll just glue this very bottom down. Okay? Just the very bottom. A little bit of glue. Don't need a whole lot. And I just don't know if I'm going to put a tag on here or not. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to cover that up a little bit, but don't go over the score line. You know, keep it on the front. There, there we go. It's so pretty, I think. And it'll match the card. I'll make sure I put this on the card so it'll bring it all together. Oops. Come on. Okay, let me shake this up. I've got a piece of scrap paper on here just to catch the glitter. Okay. Shake it up really good. I hope it comes back because this is really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. You're not supposed to put too much. I tend to overdo it. <laughs> I tend to overdo everything. It's just so pretty. There is a die in here that cuts a little snow bank. I could have done that too. But I just love this stuff so much. Yeah. I just kind of taper it off down here. Make it a little doesn't take much and it just puffs up looks like snow it's so pretty and now I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of dazzling diamonds but you can buy you know fine um, glitter um, glitter you know anywhere just get the fine glittery one I forget what the one that everybody was buying on Amazon was called. This is called Dazzling Diamonds, but I can't remember what um, the other name was because I basically buy only stamping up products. Because I like it. <laughs> and I want that truck punch. God, I want that truck punch. I've got a die, uh, it's not stamping up, and I've got a stamp and die set, but I want that dang punch. 
It's just so cute, the whole set, the stamp set and the punch is so cute. Okay, so now uh, you have to heat this up with your heat tool. This is a very good heat tool. It's got two speeds, one for um, drying and one for uh, heat embossing or this. And you need it and let it warm up, let it get hot. It gets hot too. And then just leave this on there until it puffs up and then take it right off. Once it starts puffing up, we'll take it off because otherwise it'll burn. Ask me how I know that. It will burn, it will scorch. You'll see it puff up and then it just, just move it along. It's just so pretty with the um, dazzling diamonds. It gives it that little sparkle. First Christmas, <coughs> first Christmas thing I've made, unbelievable. I want to make some more cards. There we go. Make sure. Takes a little tiny bit longer than uh, heat embossing, but not much. There we go. It's puffed up. So I'm turning it off. Okay, I just need a drink. Get that out of the way. That out of the way. Uh. Okay, now where's my, uh, I'm going to put some of these cute little snowflakes on here. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, one was on, uh, I lost it, lost one, and I found it and put it on top. So I'm just going to use a little teeny bit of adhesive. Yeah, I'm going to put about five, I think I did on that one, yeah. One, two... I put one here, three, kind of want it, four, and I'll put one right there. I want it on the thing, on the frame, just to show it off. But you decorate yours any way you want. Use what you have. Okay, let's see. That one over here. And uh, it comes in three different sizes. Uh, let's see. I ordered some more of these. They should be coming in soon. Uh, let's see. I kind of like these uh, medium size ones too. Yeah. I want that one right there. There we go. Just see it. And uh, let's see. I put one up here. And uh, a couple of little ones. I just think it's so pretty. And one, two, three, four, one more. I tend to go with odd numbers. Okay, so there we go. Now it's just a matter of putting it together. It's so easy. Y'all see, it'll only take you a couple of times making boxes and you will get it. You will get the gist of it. It's very simple to make, just like bags. I'll make the bag next. I've got everything cut out. Okay? So now we are ready to... I hope that's dry enough now. Okay. Yep, that's good. I'm sorry about doing that down there. Wait for it to dry and do not put these other pieces, only that. <laughs> good grief. Now, did I burnish these? Yeah, I did. Okay. So this is the little tab. See, that's the back. That's the back of the box. So I'm just going to put glue right here. And glue this side down. Don't go over it. Just try to get it lined up with those uh, score lines, top and bottom. And don't go over. Just go right up to the score line. There we go. See how easy that is. So easy. And I'm going to use my bone folder. And just go in there and make sure that's nice and straight. Well, that is not. Let me. There we go. Okay. Let me make sure that's it's nice and stuck. Uh, uh, if y'all been watching Shark Week. I've been watching Shark Week today. I love Shark Week. I'm terrified of them. 
but I love to watch Shark Week. We got a bunch of them down here. I've seen plenty of them. I've seen them take pelicans right off the top of the water. Just come up and just grab that pelican and take it right off the water. Oh, I hope I haven't had... I have, Y'all, I'm so sorry I wasn't paying any attention. Now, up here, I might have to take... See, that's nice. That's going to be a nice, snug fit. Uh, I am going to have to take a tiny, tiny bit off of this one side because you don't want to take much because it will open up on you. Just take a tiny little sliver if I can. Where's my other little scissors? Let me see. My hands are not real steady. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Tiny. Okay, and this one too. Let's see. Just a little bit. Because otherwise your box will flop open. I want it to kind of catch. You cut that little, whatever I did there, cut that off. If I can. There we go. Okay, now. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. I'm so sorry. While this was, um, before I closed it up, I was supposed to put my little, um, uh, thumb holder in here. Let's see. So, we're just seeing, I'm not putting, not even halfway, maybe just, just a, not even a quarter of a way. Just kind of center it as best you can. I forgot about that, too. I'm so sorry. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now, see? That's just going to slide right in there. That's a nice fit right there, I hope. Am I going to have to take some off this side? Yep, I am. I'm sorry. Yep, you might. Yeah, like I said, you might have to take just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Let me see if that works. I don't want to take too much off because I don't want my box to open up. Shoot. I'm going to take it off this side, too. Okay. Just a little, little bit. Well, that is hard to do here. Let me see this way. Just a little, tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Hopefully that'll do it. Not even, you know, barely a sixteenth of an inch. There we go. That's a nice, snug fit. Could take off a little bit more, but I like that nice snug fit. There we go. Now this a front, so this would be the last flap to go down. I'm gonna put the back one in first. And put some glue right there. And put down my sides. And see, because we wedged it, it's not hanging over. There we go. And now, we're going to bring this, uh, yeah, I might have to cover that up because I really did kind of mess that up down there. I'm sorry about that. That's what I get for not waiting till it dried. Ah, I will. I'll cover it up because you can see that. You can flat see that. And just go along your edges. Make sure your edges don't come up. I'm going to have to cover that up. Because that's that doesn't look nice down there. Yeah, see? Now I'm going to have to fix that. That's okay. No big deal. Just to measure it and cut a little piece of paper and cover that up. That's what I get for not waiting. But isn't that a cute little box? I love it. Love it. And if this is still too tight, just take a little bit more off. But I'd much rather have it tighter. Although, that's kind of... May, I might have to take a... Let me just take a drop off. Yep, I need a drop more off. Not much, though. Be careful. Little bits at a time. Little bits. There we go. Tiny little bits. Okay, there we go. Look at that. What a cute little treat box. You could put candy or makeup or whatever you want in it. And I use my nose spray box. 
<laughs> to put that together to get the measurements and I'll cover this up because that doesn't look nice down there but there you go y'all if you see a box you want to you know try to copy well just open it up and go to town on it but I will leave these measurements and I think that's a beautiful little box right there love this paper I did get that from the online exclusives too I don't know if I told y'all that so there you go there you go and, I, and I'll put this one together too but uh, I just wanted to show you all that, and I was really, really, I couldn't sleep. And I said, shoot, let me get in there, because I'd been working on it. I did make a gift bag. Um, this one's a little bit, I don't like the handles. Um, they're too, not, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I can work on them. I made them out of copy paper. They're real strong, but eh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But, uh, yeah, I was just dying to make some 3D stuff. But, uh, yeah, there's a the little box, and then I'm going to make a matching bag. I've already got everything cut out, and I'm going to make a card and uh, definitely a gift card holder. And I don't know. We'll see what else will fit in there. But, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of, you, one of you. I've missed you so much. I want y'all to know that. I've really missed you so much. And uh, I love you. And I will see you soon. So, y'all, take care, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Stop. 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 There we go. Did I stop it? <laughs> oh, good.